Hi, welcome to VR Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to help you with a common concern we have with images being submitted to VR, and that's files that contain filled shadows. An image which has filled shadows has RGB values which are lower than 5, and the VR guidelines basically states that we don't like seeing images which have values below the 5 for the RGB levels. The reason that we've set these values is to align ourselves with the standards of most commercial printing companies. This ensures that neither the customer nor the printer has a problem with our file. What I'm going to show you is how to use Photoshop to identify whether or not the file has a filled shadow, and if it does, how to use Photoshop to fix it. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that we have the right tools. So I'm going to go down here and choose my eyedropper tool from my menu. And the next thing that we need is our info palette. If you look in the top right hand corner, you can see that mine's already up. If yours isn't, you can just go to the window, scroll down to info and just make sure that it's selected. Now the next step is to identify the, the filled shadow. So what I'm going to do is a little trick using the levels uh, dialog box. And I'm just gonna hit command L or control L on a PC, which will bring up our levels dialog box. So what we wanna do is we wanna target our, our shadows and be able to place a color sampler in there so that we know what the value is. So I'm just going to go to the input levels and I'm going to grab the highlight slider on the right hand slide and I'm just going to bring it almost all the way over to the left hand side. As you can see this really clearly and quickly identifies where the darkest parts of the photo are and uh, as you can see the these uh, areas here are pretty much solid black. So I'm going to place a color sampler in there just by holding my mouse over the area, holding shift and then clicking with my mouse will place a color sampler in the area. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want to apply these levels. But as you can see, it has left the color sampler behind, which gives us our RGB values for uh, this image. As you can see, they're below five and we will want to fix that so that they're uh, closer to the values of, of five for the RGB value. So to do that, I'm going to bring up the same levels dialog box. So command L on a Mac or control L on a PC. But this time we're not going to go to the input levels. We're going to go to the output levels and I'm going to just watch this value over here in my info palette while I make the move. So I'm just going to slowly bring my input levels over to the right while watching my RGB values. And just a small move like this, you can see now, before we had a value of 2, 1, and 0, we now have a value of 7, 6, and 5. Um, I'm going to select OK, because these values now match the value that we were looking for. Um, these numbers aren't completely balanced, but that's not, you know, as long as they're relative to one another and they're very close, you can be confident that you still have a balanced shadow. They don't have to be perfectly matching. Um, so there you go. With this quick move, we were able to take an image which had a, a, a filled shadow and able to open it up a little bit more and meet the viewer guidelines. And that's it. We're done. I hope this has been useful and uh, please check back for, for more tutorials. Take care.